The star-studded sky, suburb and mysterious. It shines with myriads of stars and is an everlasting attraction. It is not an easy matter to gaze at the stars in a nowadays megapolis, but one can see them very well indeed on the dome of the planetarium. And not only stars of the Moscow sky, and not stars alone. The Moscow Planetarium, one of the oldest establishments of the kind in the world, recently celebrated its second birth. For the first time it was opened in 1929 and it became an immersive event for the whole of the country. The building of the Moscow Star House was designed by Mikhail Barch and Mikhail Sinevsky, young architects who were later to become professors of the Moscow Architectural Institute. The egg-like, constructivistic building they created inspired even the greatest of authors. Vladimir Mayakovsky wrote, Every proletarian ought to visit planetarium. Since the very moment of its birth, the planetarium became a real temple of sciences. Up to 500 schoolchildren a year studied in its famous astronomical circles, or hobby groups. Many gradients of the circles make the crown jewels of the astronomical sciences of nowadays. During the Second World War, fighting pilots came to the planetarium in order to learn to find their position by the stars. When the Soviet Union started on the outer space exploration, the lessons in astronavigation for the first cosmonauts were held here. Alexey Leonov, pilot cosmonaut in the course of his speech held in the Star Hall of the Planetarium, said, The way to Baikonur for me started here in the Moscow Planetarium. The cosmonautics was in progress, and our planetarium also was enjoying a great boom. At all times, becoming a cosmonaut was a dream for so many people. From 1929 and up to the time it was closed, about 50 million visitors came to the Moscow Planetarium. In the 90s, the planetarium was closed for reconstruction. The value of astronomy dwindled considerably in the public eye. And on the 12th of July 2011, after the 17-year-long reconstruction, the Moscow Planetarium was opened for public once again. The floor area was enlarged nearly six-fold, from 3,000 square meters to 17. Its capacity now is about a thousand visitors at a time. The most outstanding feature of Moscow Planetarium is its multifunctionality and being crammed full with technological devices. It is the first smart building with the most advanced equipment and unique technologies installed. The most state-of-art systems of the type are installed in the planetarium. The star sky projector, the full dome projection system, the equipment of the 4D movie theater, and the museum with a great number of interactive exhibits are unequaled in Russia. The planetarium not only promotes the development of science and culture, but it also facilitates upgrading of other planetariums of the country. Different educational shows are complemented by the museum events and exhibitions, as well as with the educational and scientific activities of the widest range. The Moscow Planetarium is a unique multifunctional facility with a state-of-art equipment. At present, there are no other centers of the kind in Russia that may be compared to the Moscow Planetarium. The planetarium of the present day is a multifunctional complex. The grand and the small star halls, the traditional and the interactive museums, the astronomical sites and observatories, 4D movie theater, a gift shop, and several cozy cafes.
but essentially the Moscow Planetarium is, as it used to be, a unique educational center for promoting natural sciences. Any visitor here may launch a missile into outer space, touch the moon and observe origination of a very real tornado. So let us start the most fascinating journey along the rooms of the biggest Russian planetarium, the hospitable Star House.